For days I have been wandering alone, going from store to store, looking at people, just living life, a better life than I have ever lived. One day I went into a store and I saw a familiar face. Hope came to me. Dustin was here. I always believed that Dustin brought good things. <sighs> Dustin? Jazzly? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in college or something? Yeah, I'm a little lost. I trusted the wrong people and I've just been going out and about for the past three days. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jazzly, but you smell awful. Like a wet dog. Have you had any comfort in the last few days? I've been staying at the hotel down the street. You can come back with me for a little while, if you're okay with that. Sure, I'll take my chances. It can't get any worse than this. <laughs> You're gonna have to tell me everything that's happened. Sure. But first, you need a shower. <laughs> yeah, okay. Were you grocery shopping? Yeah, just a little for myself. Um, me and Francis got into a little fight and I'm kind of on my own for now. But no longer now, because I have you. Right. Well, come on. Let's go. I know this place is kind of a dump, but I hope you can settle in it for a little while. It's fine. Honestly, it's better than my college dorm. Thanks for lending me Francis's necklace. Um, why do you have some of her clothes? Well, Part of me wishes that, uh, Francis might take me back. I was living with her for a while and we had a good thing going on. I finally felt stability in my life. And I think she did too, with our relationship. But that's kind of messed up now. Why did you two break up? You seemed perfect together. <sighs> because I care about you too much. That's what she says anyway. I'm obsessed with you, in love with you. <laughs> Such a silly accusation. I'm just a good friend. Oh, you are a good friend, Dustin. I don't even know why you're still friends with me. I'm a mess. I'm supposed to be in college right now, learning. Having fun. A real good young adult experience. And I'm here, in hiding. Because I've made very bad choices and I don't know what to do anymore honestly I want to give up I want to give up or move away and I don't have money for that so I'm just stuck in this loop I'm fine one second the next I'm killing a pet you know Francis inherited a bunch of money from her grandmother when she passed away I believe we were going to use it for a trip or something. <sighs> that doesn't matter though. I'm not with Francis anymore. She wouldn't give you money anyway. She hates being around you all. All a part of the cult. Maybe she doesn't have to give us anything. What do you mean? Maybe we can take that money and use it to go away somewhere far. Away from this town. I don't know if that's a good idea. What if the police find us stealing in her home? She definitely would call the police and definitely will put us in jail. She wants nothing to do with us. Back in college, I trusted the wrong pet. Pets, I should say. Amy and this pet named Ryder. They all are out to get me. And you're the only one I trust now, Dustin. You're the only one I have. The only one that believes in me. And I really need this. I really need to get away from here. And I can only do that with your help. You understand? I need you. I need you. I still have the house key to Francis's home. Maybe when she's not there, we can look for the money. Sounds like such a bad decision on my part. We can share the money. We can leave together, Dustin. We can have the perfect life. The life everyone else has. 
promise me, Jasly, that you won't leave me? What do you mean that I won't leave you? Promise me. I promise, Dustin. I will never leave you alone. Let's go then. Carmen, Janine, it feels so good to be free and out of that cell. I love what money can buy. With you out of that jail cell, we finally can propose a real plan. A plan to end Jazly for once and for all. That sounds pretty ideal to me. Do you recall a time when I was telling you I was going to kidnap them? And I did. I put trackers on all of those pets. <laughs> Carmen, you are so intelligent. Yes, I am. The locator is back at home, but once I look at that, we'll see where all the pets are, and then we'll conduct our plan. <laughs> Jazzily will be nothing very soon. <laughs> yes, she has to pay for what she has done. Francis isn't home, so this is our chance, Jazzly. We have to make this quick. Who knows when she'll get back. Are you sure we're gonna be able to find the money here? She deposited something in the bank. I believe a check. It has to be here somewhere. Why did you get into a relationship with Francis, by the way? I'm not trying to be mean or anything or... I mean, I guess this is prying, but I'm just kind of confused. What do you mean by that? I mean, Francis is kind of a follower, kind of boring. You deserve much better. Deserve someone like who? I don't know, but you, uh, wait, is this it? Oh my dog, it is. Okay, Jocelyn, we really need to get out of here. We could, did you hear that? I think Francis is here. What are the odds that her first decision when she walks into the house is to come into her bedroom? I'm not sure. Wait, she's talking to someone. Jasly, I don't know what we should do right now. There's nowhere to hide in here. I think we're screwed. It'll definitely be strange if she saw us both in here. There's nowhere we can hide? No, there isn't. And here's my bedroom. What are you pets doing here? Um, look, Francis, we can explain. Get um, out now. Hey, uh, what's going on? Who are these pets? If you pets don't leave right now, I will be calling the police. Uh, there's no need to do that, Francis. Come on, Jazzily, let's go. What is that you have in your paws? Nothing of your concern, Francis. We're just gonna leave. Oh, my dog. Is that my check from the bank? Dustin told you about it, didn't he? <laughs> of course he did. He'll do anything for... Pretty Miss Little Jazzily, the love of his life. Francis, just let us go. We won't bother you anymore. Let go of that piece of paper, Jazzily. Um, what is going on? I think you should leave. You're not my type anyway. Damn. Let go of that paper, Jazzily. I need it more than you do, Francis. Don't make this turn into a bloodbath, Jazzily. We're way too old for this. Give me my check. I need it. Please, Francis. I have nowhere to go. My life is ruined. I need this. That isn't my fault. Why not you complain to my ex outside of this room? Dustin never liked you, Francis. He's always been in love with me. Now, you better make the right choice and let me go with this check. I'm not afraid to kill another pet. Look at you, stating you'd rather make better life choices, but you're threatening to kill me. <laughs> You'll never change, Jazzily. None of us will. We will always be bloodthirsty. For money, for relationships, for youth, you will never change. You will always be cold-hearted. You will always be a reject. 
You are unneeded. Give me the check. Kill her, Dustin. Kill her. Oh, what? You evil dog. Let's go. I'm sorry, Francis. It's always been jazzily.